What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Shabby Shambles here. We're gonna talk about this week in the market. We got absolutely slammed, and I'm gonna tell you why. Stay tuned. Honestly, this is gonna be a short one. This is gonna be a short, short market recap because we all know what the story is, right? The Fed raised rates, Wall Street didn't like it. That's it. That's all that happened this week. We were cruising, cruising on a bullish run. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Fed announced they hiked rates. Wall Street took a nosedive. The Dow was down, NASDAQ's down, S&P's down. Uh, so what do we do? We just ride it out, right? Until the Fed des decides it's not going to raise borrowing rates, stuff like this is going to keep happening. Every time they raise rates, Wall Street takes a nosedive. It's every time, folks. It's every single time, and it's going to keep on that way. It's going to keep on that way until they stop, until they come out one day and say, we think the CPI numbers are good. We think inflation is taken care of. We're just going to set it to zero, right? We're not going to raise lending rates, and we'll see what happens. I think they could probably do it already. I think that this one might have been a step too far, but I understand with this stuff you want to go a step further than, than is necessary rather than a step not far enough. I understand. But uh, Jerome Powell, please get get your foot off all our necks. We're, we're just trying to make a living here. We're just trying to earn some money here to feed our families. Uh, so that's that's all that really happened, guys. That's all that I can that's all that I can say. I mean, there's there's not much else to talk about. I mean, yeah, Palantir got hammered. Yeah, the Dow got hammered. Yeah, Nasdaq got hammered. Yeah, the S&P 500 had a bad week. But it's all down to the Fed. It's all down to the macro economy. And while there will be fluctuations in the meantime, while there will be ups and downs, uh, while there are things to talk about with individual companies like NVIDIA the other day, I told you guys about NVIDIA. Um, that was my advice for that day. But, I mean, the macro economy is going to be the macro economy. And it is going to rule everything until Jerome Powell gets out there one day and says he's not raising rates. That's just the way it is. Sorry it was a boring week. Sorry it was, you know, maybe a predictable week. But, uh, you know, we're, we're staying on course. We're staying on course. And, I mean, Palantir, at this price, I think it's on 790 at this point. It's a great buy. It's a great buy at that point, at that price point. Uh, I've been following this stock for years and years, and I can tell you that right now. This is the time to buy. It is below eight dollars. Is the time to buy Palantir, guaranteed. I think they're gonna crush earnings on Monday. We'll see. I've made a video about that. I made. Uh, it's gonna be in the link at the on the at the end, but. I think they're going to crush earnings. I think they're going to do a great job going forward. And I think that they, along with others, but I think Palantir is going to lead us out of this bear market strong. Strong. So that's it for me. Tune in next time. Next week, I hope we have something more interesting to talk about. But thanks for tuning in. I've been Shabby Shambles. Remember to like and subscribe. If you like the content, follow me for more, subscribe for more, follow me. You know the deal. You know what I'm telling you to do. Every YouTuber in the world tells you to do this, so I hope you do it. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow, guys. Take care.